Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Greg Michalowski, currency analyst for FXDD, and today I thought I'd give you a preview of the U.S. Unemployment Report. This report will be released on Friday at 8.30 a.m. And these are the estimates that the market is expecting. The unemployment rate estimate is 8.2%. Last month it came in at 8.1%. The non-farm payrolls, this is the number of jobs created in the non outside of the farming sector, is supposed to increase by 115,000. That compares to 96,000 last month. Private payrolls, this is payrolls outside of the government, are expected to rise by 128,000 versus 103 last month. Manufacturing, zero jobs are expected to be added versus minus 15,000 last month. And the underemployment rate, Last month it came in at 14.7 percent. Market's going to be paying attention to that. So overall, as you look at this report, the expectations are a little bit better than last month, sans the unemployment rate, which is supposed to tick up to 8.2 percent. Let's take a look at the next slide, and this shows the graphical representation of what that non-farm payroll jobs has done over a time period. In 2008, that's when the job recession started. You can see the number of jobs that were lost. Going forward from about March of 2010, we started to add new jobs. That addition of jobs has started to slow down in recent months. Hence, the Fed came in, did their quantitative, or quantitative QE3, quantitative easing 3, as a result of the job slowdown, the, the, the sluggishness of the jobs uh, being added from the non-farm payroll sector. The next chart uh, shows an idea of what the initial claims for unemployment have been doing in recent times. This gives us a measure of what the uh, job situation is on a week-to-week -week basis. And this line here represents the four-week moving average of the initial jobless claims. What we can see in recent week is that, that we're seeing a decline. This may suggest that the employment situation is getting a touch better from what we saw going uh, over the last four or so uh, weeks prior. And so this may be good news. This may be a reason why we're expecting a little bit better employment report tomorrow on Friday. This next slide is a representation of the employment rate and what is called the participation rate. The participation rate is a percentage of the labor force working. And as you can see here, the unemployment rate has been steadily declining from about 10 percent at its peak. The market, uh, the unemployment rate has moved to a low of 8.1 percent over that time. But also over that time, what have we seen as far as the participation rate, the percentage of labor force working? We've seen that participation rate steadily decline as well. In fact, only 63.5 percent of the labor market is participating in employment. And so what we see in this graph is that as unemployment has gone down, participation is also going down. Why? Workers are getting discouraged. Workers are leaving the workforce. They're not finding the jobs. And so they're not included in the employment uh, picture because they've left the workforce but they're definitely showing up in the participation rate going down. This is a worry for the Fed and what we will be looking for tomorrow is for this to start to move up. If the participation rate starts to move up, that indicates a stronger labor force. Our next chart uh, shows a measure of the unemployment rate to what is called the underemployment rate. Remember we're expecting, or, or last month, the underemployment rate came in at 14.7 percent. That's well above the 8.1 percent that we see as far as the unemployment rate. What's the underemployment rate? Well, the underemployment rate encourage, includes those discouraged workers, those discouraged workers that cause the participation rate to go down. It also includes workers who may be working at Home Depot or at jobs, uh, or, uh, other jobs that really aren't consistent with their educational background or with their prior job. So the person working at Home Depot who used to be an accountant are underemployed relative to where they were. So as this underemployment rate has gone up, 
So has the worry about the Fed. The worry about the Fed is that those workers aren't making as much as they used to. That can have an effect on housing, have an effect on spending. Hence, this is why the Fed did QE3. So there you have it, a look at some of the major uh, components of the non-farm payroll due out on Friday. Be, uh, be careful with your trading on that day, a good fortune with your trading as well. My name is Greg Michalowski, Chief Currency Analyst for FXDD.